Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Kelly. Jed. Allie. And um, if you had a bad weekend, it couldn't have been worse than the weekend that these two had. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up in the hospital. I have bruises to prove it. I don't even see that. It would hurt. But I'm good now. So just be careful when drinking. Don't no drink more too drinking. Much. <laughs> <laughs> I was in bed before midnight. See the halo? <laughs> the halo. I know. <laughs> okay, so anyway, here are today's t headlines. Um, the second presidential debate is tomorrow. Both sides are worried that Candy Crowley will ask follow up questions. Good. Is that her name? Yeah. That's that one. I just don't like her. I read that story, and it said that like um, Obama and Romney are both worried about it. She's a hardcore journalist. Good. Damn. <laughs> All right, Felix. Bomb Gartner, the guy, that, the Red Bull guy, who landed from outer space, that one? Yeah, he landed safely and set the world record for the highest skydive after jumping from a capsule more than 24 miles above the New Mexico desert. Now, the cool thing is, is that he also had a um, camera phone on his head. So you can actually, like, it's kind of like free fall with him. Like a video on his head? Like I a watched video. It like a webcam. Live. A webcam. And it was crazy. And I was <laughs> getting, I was, it might have been because I was still drunk. I don't know. But I was, uh. like, I was just like, he's going to die. <laughs> I was very sad about it. I don't know. But he it lived. Was, it was cool. I liked it a lot. It was scary. <laughs> Stuff like that doesn't faze me. It was really like if scary. he dies, he did it to himself. <laughs> you should have seen him when he just, they just showed it, like him just fall down off this thing for like a good 10 seconds. And it was just not having it. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Was it live, like Ustream mm -hmm. or yeah. something? Uh, it was like, like something NASA put, Greg put up the link. Oh, yeah. okay. Microsoft plans on launching Xbox Music with free unlimited streaming to compete with Apple's iTunes. No one's going to use it. But <laughs> you can pay $10 and download, per month and download songs, though. So. Yeah, nobody's going to use it. No. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. Kim Kardashian tried on a leopard Halloween costume. But it just looked like a leopard print slut suit. <laughs> <laughs> well. It was like all sheer and open here with like boobage her and her belly button. Who wants to see that? Well, <laughs> well maybe I guys. Like I don't know. A lot of guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to see it. It's sad but kind of good because I love Russell Crowe. But him and his wife, they decided to split for nine years. And apparently she's like shacking up with her dancing partner for um, Dancing with the Stars Austrian style. But I like him. Why do people always hook up on Dancing with the Stars? Austria. Because they're doing sexy Aust moves Australia. and they're being like seduced. Australia, not <laughs> Austria. Oh, I meant Australia. <laughs> it starts with an A. Anyway. That was close. <laughs> the space shuttle Endeavor was the new subject of street photos as it passed through Los Angeles. I've seen a lot of photos this weekend yeah. of people just yeah. right. and all that good because stuff. Because it there. was traveling through for three days. You're like on a truck. Yeah. Like yeah, and it kept scared. getting stuck in traffic, and so people were going cray cray. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, a Seahawks player dissed Tom Brady on Twitter after beating the Patriots. Aww. On my <laughs> birthday, when we called that psychic, they said either Tom Brady or Tim Tebow is like my future husband. Well, Tom Brady's already married, so it must be Tim Tebow the virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe we need to fire that psychic. <laughs> so the current BCS standings are out. So these are the top five college football teams. Alabama, Florida, which is Florida State, my brother goes. Um, Oregon, Kansas City, and Notre Dame. Could someone please... Oh, Kansas State. <laughs> could someone please tell me what BCS stands for? What does that stand for? Because I didn't know what that meant. I don't know what it meant, and I read the article. <laughs> I read the article, too, and I was like, what? It's like some football something with football. Hmm. BCS. 3-6 Mafia rapper DJ Paul was arrested in last night in NYC for possession of a taser. Apparently, it's illegal to carry a taser in New York City. Oh, I want a taser. I know. Yeah. I figured, like, all the women would have tasers around you, there. You can do damage. <laughs> Especially you guys, if you guys ever lived there. Yeah. <laughs> you can and really like, hurt someone with a taser. I, mean, yeah. I was well, looking they're, for They're trying one, to hurt you. It would make sense to hurt them. I know, but my fear is that if I have a taser and I'm tasering someone, that they'll like get it from me and they'll taser me back. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's why stick I'm with the pepper spray, then. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rupert Murdoch got some heat after tweeting about scumbag celebrities. Well, who were the scumbag celebrities? He didn't mean anyone in particular. 
He just said he was tweeting about, I think he said dodgy celebrities. Weird. Yeah. So in world news, the Pakistani teen that was shot by the Taliban was sent to the UK for further treatment. So that's good. Yeah. Hopefully she'll have a full recovery and come back in full force mm -hmm. and take over. <laughs> US retail sales went up by 1.1% this past September. Probably because people are buying iPhones. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. probably right. Yeah. <laughs> George W. Bush is skeptical of Mitt Romney's campaign. Mm -hmm. Now, is that, that's the second, that's the, the younger song. one. The younger one. Yeah. yeah. He's friends with Max's boyfriend. <laughs> oh, speaking of George W. Bush, George P. Bush tweeted me this weekend. Well, he retweeted oh, okay. me because when we were at the White House on Saturday, we saw his handprints in the children's garden. Mm -hmm. He's Jeb Bush's son and George W. Bush's nephew. And, I wanted um, to marry him. Yeah, Ali loved him a long time. He was so hot because his father <laughs> was the um, governor of my state home. Yeah, yeah. and um, everyone started tweeting. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people started tweeting and saying that um, the next time that George P. Bush is in the White House, he'll be president. So that's probably true. You think? Maybe. Yeah. I think he really smart. wants to run. Yeah, he went and campaigned for Bush and everything. Yeah, mm. he's good. He's kind of like a good business guy, though, right? Yeah, I mean, well, which I've would make a good person in the office. Oh, snap. So, uh, Just like Mitt Romney, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> SoftBank will buy a 70% stake in Sprint for $20.1 billion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that made you look really smart then, right? Taken 2 beat out Argo in the box office this past weekend. Taken 2 came in at $22.5 million and Argo at 20.1. I guess all that uh, over-advertising didn't do so well. <laughs> Kanye West flipped out last night in Miami over paparazzi asking him questions about Reggie Bush and Reggie Bush's Pregnant new mom. baby. Wait a sec. Did I just read someone else's? No, no. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Today is National Grouch Day. <laughs> oh, no, no. We have to finish that one. What? That Kim Kardashian and they got into the fight. Yeah, it was like a paparazzi thing. I know, but it was because Reggie Bush was having dinner right next, right, like across the street at a restaurant. Right, they were letting them know that Reggie Bush was there. Right, and then he got pissed, and that's when he went after the paparazzi. Yeah, but they were asking, like, what they thought about Reggie's new ba pregnancy, because he's supposed to have a baby or something, and all this stuff. I don't know. It was really stupid, if you ask me. Yeah. That's why I didn't think it was that important. Hmm. I just, like... I don't care. I don't even really follow Kanye and Reggie Bush. All I know is they have one thing in common. They're grouches. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Today is National Grouch Day. Yeah. So spread a little love to those grouches in need. How are you going to help them out? <laughs> I don't know. See ya. Bye, Maybe there'll be some grouches at the Million Muppet March. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. <laughs>